Hello, welcome to Shifting Gears. I'm Ken. Uh, today we are going to be putting a control arm on a 2009 Chevrolet HHR. And the reason being is because the bushings wear out in them. Then you get a whole bunch of play, like what you can see there. You also feel when you're driving it, you hit the brake, you kind of feel an extra little jerk. Right when you hit the brake, and that's the wheel moving from the torque of the brake being applied to it. All right. Let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take the pinch bolt out of the bottom of the knuckle, right where the ball joint goes in. You got a 15 millimeter nut on one side, a uh, 18 millimeter bolt on the other side. Hold the 18 millimeter bolt with a wrench and we'll hit that with an impact. And we'll make that an edit. It's actually a 16 millimeter bolt on the back side. Get on it. There you go. Sometimes they need a little gentle persuasion. Now let's cut the wheel all the way to one side. That's locked. You're supposed to use a hammer and a pickle fork to break these loose, which you put the pickle fork in, smack it with the hammer. Problem is, if you're planning on reusing that ball joint, you'll end up ripping the boot about 90% of the time. So I prefer to take a hammer, smack on the knuckle right there. You do it a couple times real good, it'll jar it enough so that the ball joint will actually pop out, which looks like this one might be. <laughs> that one went ahead and popped on out, so we just pulled it out. We're going to swing the uh, knuckle and stuff out of the way, and we'll get started on the mount bolts. All right, now we're going to take out this 21 millimeter bolt, holds the subframe and the back side of the uh, control arm in place. Side. Now we're ready to work from the top a little bit. All right, now we're gonna get these other two control arm mount bolts. You have two of them that kind of face away from the vehicle, right there. Both of them 15 millimeter. There's one. Wait, get the other. Wiggle jiggle the control arm a little bit, get them bolts out, and then pull her on out. You can see there's your damaged bushing. Ripped right out of it. And there's our new control arm with the good bushing installed. Now you can replace just the bushing. Problem is, when you do it, you have to have something that fits this ring perfectly. Be able to press it out and press the other one in. But another reason that we're doing the whole thing is you get new bushing, new bushing, new ball joint all in one. If you were to pay somebody to replace all that stuff for you on your old one, you'd probably end up spending more than what the whole control arm cost you brand new. All right. Now we get it started up in here. All 
All right, for now, we just got the bolt started a couple threads. We're gonna stop there, we're gonna move on. Go ahead and get the ball joint in place. I'll show you why here in just a second. All right, if you look now, the ball joint is not in its proper place. It's kind of behind it, and as a result, your rear bushing is too far back. And it's also sitting in there kind of cocked at probably about a 30, 35 degree angle. So we're gonna get the ball joint in next, and then what we're gonna do is preload it. We're gonna, uh, in this case, we're gonna use what's called a screw jack, or at home you can use a tranny jack to help get this set, it, set properly in place. The trick to this is getting the ball joint properly oriented to where you need it. It's brand new, they are stiff. Alright, not only is this going to help with lining up the ball joint, but actually we can get the camera over here. Let's see. Look right through that hole, you'll see that you got a piece that will be blocking the bolt from going through. So as we screw this up, you should see the little notch for the bolt is now lined up with the hole. Now you are good to put that bolt back in there. And then we'll go ahead and get that tight. All right, now to help with getting this lined up, I took a pry bar, twisted the control arm out. You look up here in the hole, you can see the, where the bolt goes through the bushing. Now, sometimes you might have to take something with a point on it, like this piece, stick it up through there, wiggle and jiggle it to make sure that your holes are lined up. And once you do that, you put the bolt in. Went ahead and grabbed the hammer because sometimes it helps to tap it up in there too. As you can see, even though I straighten it, the bolt's still at a little bit of an angle. So just kind of pull the bolt, bolt towards you, tap it up. Even though this is being a little stubborn. There we go. Just go ahead and tap it until it gets seated. We will get it started a few threads. Now, before we tighten that one, or these two, like I said, we're gonna preload it. You can do this at home with a floor jack, or in our case, like I said, we're using a transmission jack, or a screw jack. This helps make sure that the bushings are set in the right place, less chance of binding. Basically, if you've got it on jack stands, lift the uh, control arm up with the jack, up until you start coming off the jack stands. Then that should be the natural position when it's sitting on its wheels on the ground. All right. Now 
now tighten the two 15s. Tighten both of them. We're going to go back and tighten the first one again just to make sure that the mount for the bushing wasn't kind of cocked to the side a little bit on us when uh, it seemed like it was tight. And it tightened a little bit more, which means that yes, it was. All right, now that we've done that, we're ready to uh, lower the control arm back down, get the jack out of the way. Take it for a test drive, as long as uh, that little jerky feeling or notchy type feeling when you're hitting your brakes is gone, then you'll be good to get it down, get it ready for an alignment. Well, it looks like test drive was a success. A good proper repair. So, we'll see you next time on Shifting Gears. Thank you. And actually, it's probably better. Hey, welcome to Shifting Gears. I'm Ken. <laughs> and then, I'll cut to that, and then uh, you can finish saying what you're saying. You know what I mean? Okay. Check out both my shins. See here is a black dog in its natural habitat. I almost lost that. Light and shadows. I'm casting shadows. A little too short for this. <laughs>